hi, Crystal, I've got your, well, I've got your uh, written portion of the assignment up. And I just, I know that you said you're going to submit more, but I just want to talk about this real quick. So a couple of things that I want to go through here, because this is going to come up in your final. So we might as well address it now, since this is a, like a preparation work towards your final. The first thing I recommend is that whenever you put these presentations together, do so as, you know, your approach should be that your viewer doesn't know what you're talking about. So you can't start out with a question because in a presentation, you're, you know, you can't start out with a question because your 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 viewer is, is going to get lost immediately. So keep that in mind. What I'm saying is just give us, before you, any presentation from now to the end of this, this, this class, I'd like to see you start out by giving us a brief synopsis, a mini thesis, as it were, of what you're actually submitting to us, okay? And this would be something that would be mirrored in the studio setting because if you're going to submit work to a committee for approval or to an art director for approval, you would certainly submit it in a presentation format. So keep that in mind moving forward in where in, in, in as much as that you would definitely set this up with, with a, a thesis or a mission statement explaining the assignment. OK, so here, uh, do I really need it? And this is a good way to go uh, present the question and then give the answer for collateral and giveaway. I thought that was a really smart, intuitive way to go. So good job there. Do I really need it collateral? Technically, no. Actually, you do. You do need something to give out a piece of collateral. Now, this is interesting because you say you could use just use the QR code. Well, why don't you just use the QR code then? The only thing you would have to do here is prove that using the QR code would leave less of a sustainable footprint than, let's say, perhaps printing the information or in this situation, um, boy, see, I don't even know what your collateral is. Um, so, so that's kind of tough. Uh, you know, again, and that points back to presentation. Uh, giveaway. Um, I, apparently, a thumb drive is your giveaway. Is it really needed? A giveaway? Yeah, you do need a giveaway. Um, so it's not saying do you actually need the thumb drive. I mean, I think a thumb drive is a good idea because nobody's going to really throw it away. You can, you, you don't have to make it read only so they can use it when they're done with the presentation, whatever presentation is on it. Okay. Uh, is it designed to minimize waste? Um, and this is something that I, you know, this is something that came up a couple of times. Talk, you're talking about using the flyer as parking. And that was an idea that I gave a couple of times in, um, in, in the class so far. So I don't know if that's the most original idea. A couple of other um, students kind of ran with that idea too. So that not being an original idea, you may reconsider that. Um, can it be smaller or made of fewer materials? These are good. The rest of this is, is pretty good. What I want to mention is this. Now, we can no longer talk about this. Can it be made of, well, let, hold on, let me see. Let me, let me pick a better example. Does it use renewable resources, collateral, making this paper uses water? Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, giveaway. Yes, but I can't find what kinds it uses. So, I mean, this is not, this is like, if, if this were a design setting and, and you gave this to your art director, I think it would, you would get it back with a lot of big red question marks on it. Um, so, so this part right here, especially, is really, really underdeveloped. Um, I mean, these are pretty good, but now the one thing moving forward is that you really need to start proving sustainability and you have to start looking at your materials and proving sustainability. So in other words, we can no longer do things like this. Okay. You say collateral, the paper is recyclable. That, that doesn't, as you know, now after reading and through all the lectures, the, the word recyclable doesn't mean anything. You have to start defining your materials. For example, if you're using paper and, you, and you're using something that is categorized as recyclable, you would have to give you know, the, the specifics on the paper. What is it post-consumer? What percentage of it is post-consumer? Um, what is the, uh, uh, the paper making process and, what, and how sustainable is that? And then give us a reference to your research, okay? That is the most important part of this assignment right now is, is getting, let me see something here. So by how much collateral this paper is made. Let me see something here. Okay, so 
So you get you got the idea here. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything here that's maybe it's in a different um, uh, link or something. But that's the idea is definitely is giving the sustainability, then proving it. OK, but I would word it like this working towards your final presentation. I would word it more something like this. Um, according to um, blah, blah, blah. This paper, the paper you used is made with 100% post-consumer recycled materials and then give the link. So again, you're saying according to or giving the source, um, giving the fact, then pointing to the, the citation. Okay, that's really important too. Then, and then it, you just kind of fell short here, collateral and production. I, I don't know what that means. Um, And then giveaway, can they be made locally? Okay, so that, that would be the, okay. So yeah, so anyways, yeah, a lot of this is really good, I think for the level questions, but let's just get back on track and, and let's see if you can get the rest of the assignment turn, okay? So great job on the 11 questions. Just keep in mind what I was saying moving forward because that'll put you in a more favorable position um, to name your materials in working towards the final presentation, okay? Awesome job, Crystal, thanks very much.